Hey everyone, Morgan here. So I am going to be talking about how to budget time and money for uh, your preps. Now, a lot of us are under money constraints, time constraints. All of us have different priorities and different things going on in our lives that tug us this way and that, and it totally makes sense, okay? So, you know, when you're first getting into something new, you know, like, like let's say you're a brand new prepper and you're like, wow, okay, I'm really interested in this, but you know, I don't know how to get started or you know, I'm just kinda like, I don't think I have the time or you're just not making it a priority. Just like with anything else in your life, brushing your teeth, you know, doing the dishes, you know, making food, going to work, those are all uh, priorities. We need to make prepping a priority. We need to make that a priority in our life and we have to actually um, tell ourselves that this is something that needs to be done. It's not something that we want to be done. It's something that needs to be done in order for our um, ultimate survival. I mean, essentially, you know, you're taking your own life into your hands when you prep. And so if you really want to be prepared and prep, then uh, you need to make it a priority. So the second thing is, um, coming up with a budget, okay? So you don't wanna go in hard and fast. You can if you have that sort of money and you can just blow a bunch of money to just be all prepared right now. And I understand the world is insane right now, okay? The world's always been crazy. It's getting crazier by the day. And you're just, you've woken up and you realize, I gotta be prepared everything right now. <laughs> but um, if you don't have the budget for it, um, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to do that. So my suggestion to you is to budget anywhere from five to twenty dollars a week on things like extra water, extra food, um, you know, you're bugging in supplies. And then you can move on to like maybe your bug out bag, um, you know, getting the actual bag. And then you can move on to, you know, filling that bug out bag. And you, in the meantime, you can make a disaster plan, you know, things like that. So there are things that you can do that do not require money as well. But, you know, stuff like this with five to ten dollar a budgeted towards, you know, like food and water and things, you know, maybe like some paracord, you know, a knife that you want, whatever. And if a week isn't gonna do it, you could do a month. You could do every month, you know, if Five to ten twenty dollars or five to twenty dollars a week is just too much for you to budget which I get it some people are in that place I totally understand then at least try to budget anywhere from five to twenty dollars a month on like those food and water supplies you know I would really focus on like food and water you know bugging in um, sort of supplies like that uh, very first of all and then move on to other stuff so really set aside that money, any whatever money that you're setting aside, make it a priority to set aside that budget. And uh, when you're at the grocery store, you know, get that five to $20 extra worth of food and water. And then we have to budget our time. You know, we have to budget our time to actually learn new skills, you know, read about, um, you know, prepping and, and read about how to be more prepared and to, you know, better ourselves, practice our skills, you know, all these things. So we have to budget our time. So how do we do that? Well, for me, what I do is I actually have a, an app. I have an app that literally schedules out my life, basically. Um, every single day it pops up with a whole bunch of stuff that says, you have to do these 20 million things today. And then I get to you know, mark off everything that I do or don't do, <laughs> depending on time and things. Um, you know, so I have an app that uh, schedules everything for daily and of course I have to put everything in there. So for you, like if you want to schedule 30 minutes to practice a new skill like fire making or something, put it in the, ske in, in the schedule, you know, or, um, you know, use like, uh, you could also, you could also use Google. You could also use like Google Calendar or any calendar, it doesn't matter, whatever, Google, non-Google, don't care. Um, any sort of calendar, you know, to remind yourself, as long as it's some sort of pop-up that's reminding you, hey, you know, do this, or if you have like a good old traditional planner, use it. Just use your planner to make sure that you are appropriately scheduling out those 30 minutes. You know, anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes, whoops. Anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes a week should be pretty standard. And if you don't have 30 to 60 minutes a week, 
then um, you know your life is really crazy. <laughs> um, even if you're just watching TV, you can sit there and you know maybe read a little bit, um, you know, uh, of a new skill or something, and then later on next week you can pr practice that skill or something. I don't know. Um, there's lots of things that we can do to be better prepared every single week, and if we're taking just 30 to 60 minutes a week to do something to better prepare ourselves, then we'll be way better off in the long run. Nobody expects you to be a 24 seven prepper, okay? Um, but it is important to budget the time, budget the money, and really budget out your, um, you know, priorities in prepping as well and around your life, you know, what's really important. Um, you know, having safety and security by being prepared is pretty important, and, you know, especially to me. And that's why I budget um, time and money towards that. So, um, you know, if you've made the decision to make prepping a priority, then this is basically how I would suggest starting out. And within time, it'll be second nature. You'll just be like, oh, it's Saturday at one o'clock. Time to do my prepping thing. <laughs> and you'll, you'll go off and do it. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, just some very quick tips. Hey, I have some uh, eBooks that you might be interested in. Uh, my website is down below, morganrogue.com. You wanna go check those out. And there's a whole bunch of great information on there as well. And uh, if you ever have any questions, comments, or anything, send me an email. I'm happy to chat with you anytime. Talk to you later, bye.